Ohio BMV Motorcycle Practice Test Question 1. When pulling off to the side of the road, you must check to see A. That your brakes are working B. That the surface is firm enough to ride on C. That it is a well-lit area D. That it is a designated area 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. When pulling off to the side of the road, you must check to see that the surface is firm enough to ride on. Question 2. Motorcycles can slip on grease left by cars on the road. Where are these most likely to be found? A. On multi-lane highways. B. At busy intersections. C. On bridges and overpasses. D. On gravel roads. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. Motorcycles can slip on grease left by cars on the road. These strips can be found at busy intersections where cars tend to remain stopped for longer periods of time. Question 3. Which brake control should you use when you need to stop? A. The emergency brake. B. The front brake. C. Both front and rear brake. D. The rear brake. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. Use both the front and rear brakes when stopping. This allows you to stop quickly and safely. Question 4. The best way to cross unavoidable obstacles on the road is to A. Put your feet down for support. B. Cross them at a 45 degree angle. C. Cross them at a 90 degree angle. D. Walk your motorcycle across them. 5. 4 3 2 1 Answer C. The best way to cross unavoidable obstacles on the road is to cross them at a 90 degree angle. If that is not possible, cross them at an angle of at least 45 degrees. Question 5. When following other motorcycles, what should be the minimum space cushion? A. 6 seconds B. 3 seconds. C. 2 seconds. D. 4 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. When following other motorcycles, leave a space cushion of at least 2 seconds. Question 6. If you are a beginner rider, you should ride no more than Fill in the blank, hours per day. A4 B8 C2 D6 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. If you are a beginner rider, you should ride no more than 6 hours per day. Take frequent breaks. Question 7. How can you protect yourself from injury during a collision? A. Wear protected motorcycle clothes and gear. B. Try to land with your arms first. C. Roll away from the motorcycle. D. Try to jump off the bike before hitting the ground. 5. 4. 3, 2, 1. Answer A. Help protect yourself from injury during a collision by wearing protective motorcycle clothes and gear. Question 8. To avoid lurching while downshifting, what should you do? A. Make sure the motorcycle is traveling slow enough for the gear. B. 
break while shifting. C. Only downshift if you are an experienced rider. D. Never shift below second gear. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. To avoid lurching while downshifting, make sure the motorcycle is traveling slow enough for the gear you're about to shift into. Question 9. Before making an emergency stop on this side of the road, you should A. Skim your feet along the road. B. Check to see that the surface is firm enough to ride on. C. Make sure your luggage is secure. D. Move into the center of the lane position. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. Before making an emergency stop on this side of the road, you should check to see that the surface is firm enough to ride on. Question 10. You should flash your brake light when you are about to stop and you are A. Stopping in an unusual place B. Being followed too closely C. Stopping more quickly than others will expect D. Doing any of these 5 Four, three, two, one. Answer D. You should flash your brake light when you are about to stop and you are being followed too closely, stopping in an unusual place, or stopping more quickly than others expect. Question 11. Because a motorcycle has a smaller profile than a car. A. Shoulder checks are not required. B. Special lights are required. C. It is less visible. D. It is faster. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Because a motorcycle has a smaller profile than a car, it is less visible. Be careful when riding a motorcycle. Question 12. Which of the following is an OT required for a motorcycle passenger? A. Passenger foot rests. B. Designate seat room. C. A helmet and eye protection. D. A backpack. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Passengers should have the same type of protective gear and clothing recommended for operators. Question 13. The staggered formation is the best choice when A. Riding in a group B. There is an emergency situation C. Taking curves D. Parking parallel to the curb 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. The staggered formation is the best choice when riding in a group. It helps you stay close together while maintaining a space cushion. Question 14. If you lock the rear brake on a surface with good traction. A. You should release the rear brake and reapply it. B. You can keep it locked until you come to a complete stop. C. Release the rear brake and use only the front brake. D. Release both brakes and coast to a stop. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. If you lock the rear brake on a surface with good traction, you can keep it locked until you come to a complete stop. On the other hand, if you lock the front wheel, you should release the front brake immediately. Question 15. Motorcycle drivers cannot drive on highways. A. At night, because your lights aren't bright enough. B. Unless you can travel safely at the minimum posted speed. C. Without proper sunglasses. D. During rush hour. 5. 4. 3. 
two, one. Enter B. As a motorcycle, you cannot drive on highways unless you can travel safely at the minimum posted speed. Question 16. If an object suddenly appears in your riding path, you should fill in the blank to avoid a crash. A. Lean your motorcycle. B. Apply the front brake gently. C. Swerve and apply the brakes. D. Swerve around the object. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. If an object appears suddenly in your riding path, you should swerve around the object to avoid a crash. Question 17. Before pulling off the road, it is important to check A. If it is a designated pull-off area B. The traffic in front of you C. If your lights are working D. If the surface is safe to ride on 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Before pulling off the road, it is important to check the surface to see if it is safe to ride on. Motorcycles require a firm surface with a lot of traction. Question 18. Because cars merging onto the highway may not see you, you should A. Pull in the clutch B. Flash your brake light C. Move to a farther lane if possible D. Move into the center lane position 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Because cars merging onto the highway may not see you, you should move into a farther lane if possible. Question 19. The center of the lane position is best for A. Pulling up to blind intersections. B. Preparing to pass the car ahead of you. C. Being seen by the driver ahead of you. D. Preparing to pull off the side of the road. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. The center of the lean position is best for being seen by the driver ahead of you. Drivers look most often into their rearview mirrors. Question 20. Help balance your motorcycle while turning by. A. Keeping both knees against the gas tank. B. Leaning the opposite way of the motorcycle. C. Dragging your feet on the ground. D. Doing all of these things. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. Use your knees to help balance while turning by keeping them against the gas tank. Question 21. Before mounting the motorcycle, you should check. A. The windshield and the kickstand. B. The tires and the lights. C. The mirrors and the exhaust. D. The foot pegs and the gas level. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Enter B. Before mounting the motorcycle, you should check the tires and the lights. Both must be in good working order before each journey because their failure could be extremely dangerous. Question 22. Which of the following is acceptable to wear on a motorcycle as protective clothing? A. Gloves, bright shoes, and a denim jacket. B. Boots, shorts, and a leather jacket. C. Sturdy jacket, boots, and gloves. D. Jeans, t-shirt, and a helmet. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. While riding a motorcycle, you should wear a sturdy jacket, boots, and gloves. Even when it is hot, it is important to protect yourself in case of an accident or collision.
Question 23. In which of these situations would you use the engine cutoff switch? A. When your throttle is stuck. B. When being followed by a tailgater. C. When you need to avoid slipping on slippery surfaces. D. When you need to stop quickly. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. You use the engine cutoff switch when you believe the throttle is stuck, and you have not been able to loosen it. Question 24. When braking on slippery surfaces, you should A. Use the rear brake only. B. Use both brakes. C. Use the front brake only. D. Always coast in neutral. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. When braking on slippery surfaces, you should use both brakes. It is always most effective to use both brakes. Question 25. When entering a turn and you need to change gears, when should that change occur? A. At any time. B. After completing the turn. C. After entering the turn. D. Before entering the turn. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. When entering a turn and you need to change gears, you should change gears before the turn if possible. This will help keep the turn smooth and stable. Question 26. Decrease your chances of being involved in a collision by A. Communicating your intentions B. Being visible C. Maintaining an adequate space cushion D. Doing all of these things 5 4 3 2 1. Answer D. You can decrease your chances of being involved in a collision by maintaining an adequate space cushion, being visible to others, and communicating your intentions to other drivers. Question 27. The best way to stay alert while riding a motorcycle is to A. Drive only during the day. B. Avoid making long trips. C. Drink beverages with caffeine. D. Take frequent rest breaks. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. The best way to stay alert while riding a motorcycle is to take frequent rest breaks. Riding a motorcycle is more tiring than driving a car. Take the time to get off and stretch. Question 28. While riding your motorcycle, you approach a crosswalk that a pedestrian has just entered. What should you do? A. Stop inside the crosswalk. B. Stop and wait for the pedestrian to cross the road. C. Proceed if the pedestrian is not in your lane. D. Proceed as long as you will not hit the pedestrian. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. If you approach a crosswalk that a pedestrian has just entered, stop before the crosswalk and wait for the pedestrian to finish crossing the road. Question 29. When it starts to rain, what lane position can be hazardous? A. Left. B. Center. C. Left and right. D. Right and center. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. When it starts to rain, the center lane can be hazardous because of the oil and fluid buildup.
It is safest to ride in the tracks of other drivers. Question 30. Which of the following does NOT increase your safety when riding at night? A. Wearing reflective coating. B. Passing slower vehicles. C. Decreasing your speed. D. Changing your lane position. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Enter B. Passing vehicles at night does not increase your safety. It can be dangerous and should be done with caution. Question 31. When passing another vehicle. A. Ride in the highest gear. B. Turn on your hazard lights. C. Ride close to the edge of the road. D. You must not exceed the speed limit. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. When passing another vehicle, you must not exceed the speed limit. Question 32. Driving a motorcycle is, fill in the blank, then driving a car. A. The same amount of work. B. Less work during the day. C. Less work at night. D. More work. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Driving a motorcycle is more work than driving a car. Take frequent breaks to avoid fatigue. Question 33. The best way to swerve is to A. Avoid braking and press the handle grip on the side of the direction in which you want to turn. B. Press the handle grip on the side opposite to the direction in which you want to turn. C. Pull in the clutch and apply the rear brake. D. Brake while you are swerving. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. The best way to swerve is to press the handle grip on the side of the direction in which you want to turn. Never break and swerve at the same time. Question 34. The motorcycle and rider should lean at the same angle when in. A. Normal turns. B. Slow, tight turns. C. All these answers are correct. D. Quick, sharp turns. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. The motorcycle and rider should lean at the same angle when in normal turns. Question 35. To help keep the motorcycle steady through a turn, you should A. Increase your speed. B. Maintain or decrease your speed. C. Maintain or increase your speed. D. Decrease your speed. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. To help keep the motorcycle steady through a turn, you should maintain or increase your speed. Question 36. Before changing lanes on a multi-lane road, you should check a. The lane next to you and the far lane. B. Only the lane next to you. C. Your signal light. D. Only the far lane. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. Before changing lanes, you should check not only the lane next to you but the far lane as well. A car may also be merging into that lane. Question 37. Head checks while riding motorcycles. A. Only need to be done at night. B. Only need to be done when preparing for a left turn. C. Should be performed before changing lanes. D. Are not required because motorcycles do not have blind spots. 5. 
five, four, three, two, one. Answer C. Head checks while riding motorcycles should be performed before changing lanes. Question 38. There is R. Fill in the blank. Possible lane position S available to a motorcycle in a single lane of traffic. A4. B1. C2. D3. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. There are three possible lane positions available to a motorcycle in a single lane of traffic. Question 39. The majority of your motorcycle brake power is provided by A. The front and rear brake equally. B. The clutch. C. The rear brake. D. The front brake. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. 75% of your motorcycle stopping power is provided by the front brake. Question 40. For stopping or slowing down, the most effective method is to use A. The front brake only. B. The rear brake only. C. Engine braking only. D. Both the front and rear brakes. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. For stopping or slowing down, the most effective method is to use both the front and rear brakes. Question 41. What are the four steps to making a proper turn? A. Look, press, roll, slow. B. Slow, look, press, roll. C. Press, look, slow, roll. D. Slow, press, look, roll. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. To make a proper turn, you should slow your speed, look where you want to go, press lean in the direction of the turn, and roll the throttle. Question 42. In order to avoid fatigue, you should stop riding at least every, fill in the blank, hour S. A6. B4. C1. D2. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. In order to avoid fatigue, you should stop riding at least every two hours. Motorcycles are more tiring to ride than cars are to drive. Question 43. Rolling on the throttle through a turn will. A. Help stop the motorcycle. B. Cause the motorcycle to tip over. C. Help stabilize the motorcycle. D. Cause the motorcycle to skid. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. Rolling on the throttle through a turn will help stabilize the motorcycle. Question 44. It is difficult for other drivers to see motorcycles. Which of the following can increase your visibility to others? A. Wear proper clothing. B. Ride in the best lane position. C. Use your headlight. D. All of the above are correct. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. To increase your visibility to other drivers, you should ride in the best lane position, wear proper clothing, and use your headlight. Question 45. Which brake is most powerful? A. Foot brake. 
B. Both front and rear brake are equal. C. Front brake. D. Rear brake. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. The front brake provides three quarters of your motorcycle stopping power. Question 46. To help stabilize the motorcycle in a turn, you should A. Apply the rear brake B. Decrease the throttle C. Increase the throttle D. Pull in the clutch 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. To help stabilize the motorcycle in a turn, you should increase the throttle when turning. Question 47. In hot weather, what type of clothing should you wear while riding your motorcycle? A. Denim shorts and a leather jacket. B. Whatever feels most comfortable. C. Long pants and a t-shirt. D. Sturdy clothing that covers your arms and legs completely. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. Even in hot weather, you should wear sturdy clothing that covers your arms and legs completely. Your skin needs to be protected in the event of a crash. Question 48. You are in danger of hitting an object and need to swerve to avoid it. What is the best way to initiate a swerve? A. Lean sharply in the opposite direction from which you need to swerve. B. Apply a small amount of pressure to the hand grip on the side of your intended direction of escape. C. Lean sharply in the direction you need to swerve. D. Apply a small amount of pressure to the hand grip of the opposite side you need to swerve. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. If you are in danger of hitting an object, the best way to initiate a swerve is to apply a small amount of pressure to the hand grip on the side of your intended direction of escape. Question 49. If you need to brake and swerve, you should A. Brake while swerving B. Brake after swerving C. Brake before swerving D. Brake before or after swerving 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. If you need to brake and swerve you must break before or after swerving. Never break and swerve at the same time. Question 50. Provided you have the right level of motorcycle license, you are permitted to carry a passenger if A. The passenger has special shoes. B. They are wearing protective clothing. C. Your motorcycle is designed to carry another person. D. All of the above conditions are met. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Provided you have the right level of motorcycle license, you are permitted to carry a passenger if your motorcycle is designed to carry another person. This means there is a passenger seat and designated footrests. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and share.